A lot of entrepreneurs are wasting their content capital on words that just don't land with their audiences. And they don't understand why it's a problem because they're experts, they're authorities, they've been doing this work a long time, they're passionate and they wanna help people. So why don't their words land? It's because they don't get into their audience's head before they start writing content. They're probably using words that either go over the heads of their audience or talk to their audience in a way that they're actually probably talking to their clients, which is further down the line, or they're using jargon or insider language. Now, I will tell you, in my first business, we made so many assumptions about who our clients were and who our audience was that we never, ever wanted to take the time to talk to people because we were like, but we are the ideal client. We've already been in their shoes. But I'll tell you, if you are not talking to your people on a regular basis at all different points of your business, then your content will fall flat and you'll feel like you're putting stuff out there and it just never gets anywhere. So this is a really important thing that I want you to think about talking to your people. And a great question to ask is what, when somebody comes into my world, when somebody comes into my content, what are they Googling? What is their problem and how are they Googling their problem? And I guarantee they're using words that you're, that you're not using. You're making assumptions and that is the death knell for your content. So I'm going to drop a link below to talk about the three steps that you can do to get into your, your audience's head. And it's this free guide. It includes a training video. It's incredibly helpful. It does take time and energy, but it doesn't cost you a damn thing. So the first thing that you want to do is get on the phone with people or have a Zoom call with people. And yes, you could do a survey, but you want to start asking people who could be your potential right clients, your potential audience members to talk to you. The second thing that you do once you get them on the phone is to ask them questions and not coach them, not give them answers, not give them solutions, just listen to what they say and take notes on everything they say because what they tell you is absolute gold. And then the third step is to start looking at the patterns that come up when you've talked to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 people. When I first started my coaching business, I did 30 interviews and it was fascinating. And it told me what words should be on my website, what I should be talking about in my content, what kind of offer I need to produce, how, how much that offer could be. Like it was so informative. And if you're not talking to your people, one of the things that's gonna be a pain in the ass for you is writing your content. So let me put in the chat below how to get this resource that takes you through the three steps with a training video. And I promise you, it will give you marketing gold. It will give you business gold. It is so worthwhile. But if you don't know what your people are Googling when they have a problem and you're not speaking to it exactly that way, you're just gonna be so tired. And I bet you are tired. I bet you're tired of your business. I bet you're tired of marketing. I bet you're tired of writing content. This makes it so much easier. And every single time I have a new offer or I wanna, I have to up level my pricing or I wanna change something in my business, I do this exact thing. So I'll drop the link in the comments. Please let me know what you're struggling with with your content and marketing because I take questions all the time and I address them in my lives and I would love to take yours. I'll talk to you soon. My name is Jen Liddy and I'm a content creation specialist. Bye.